The Grand Rapids Greenway Lightning open postseason play on Thursday evening at the RA Civic Center in Grand Rapids. The Lightning received goals from five different players as they skated to the 5-1 victory over St. Francis North Branch. Uh, it was a really good game. We came out really excited because of the playoffs and stuff. And, I don't know, we just tried to get pucks to the net and I guess it worked out. The Lightning constantly drove to the net with Molly Olkidding getting the game's first goal in the first period to give the Lightning the early 1-0 lead. Kaya Baker and Daniel Heitkamp assisted on the goal. Once again, the Lightning ran into another solid goaltender. This time it was St. Francis North Branch's Dakota Bullen that stood on her head. Bullen finished the game with 35 saves. She had 13 in the first, 13 in the second, and then 9 in the third. However, the Lightning would eventually break free as they continued to crash in that hard. The Lightning scored three goals in the third period, including the eventual go-ahead goal by Lightning forward Delaney Gohorst. Her goal was assisted by Aspen Anderson. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Illy Kanan's always getting on us about not going to the post full speed, and once we started doing it, it just worked out for us. And then goal after goal, we just got psyched about it, so I don't know. It was just kind of after Lightning forward, Delaney Cohorse gave the Lightning a 2-1 lead. It was Daniel Heitkamp that held the puck in at the blue line and got it to Molly Illikainen. Illikainen found Giles in front and cheated the rest as she went top shelf over the glove of Dakota Bullen to make it 3-1 in the second period. The Lightning weren't done there as Kaya Baker fired a shot that was stopped by Bullen, but Hannah Schmoll was there for the rebound to make it 4-1 in favor of the Lightning. The Lightning closed out the 5-1 victory on a goal by Morgan Bruns in the third period. The Lightning will now take on Cloak Fiasco Carlton on Saturday afternoon at 2.30 p.m. at the IRA Civic Center in Grand Rapids.